Library Theme Generator is a command line tool. It allows you to generate new themes to be used with Library Portal and supplies you with necessary tools to deploy and make quick modifications to your theme. Library Theme Generator is independent of Library Plugin SDK and generates theme for Library Portal 6.2, Library Portal 7.0 and higher versions. The Library Theme Generator has several dependencies like Node, Yeoman, Gulp, SAS and many more. We must install all the dependencies to work with Theme Generator. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how we can prepare our local environment to use Library Theme Generator. This explanation is based on Windows Machine. If you are using Linux or Mac, the installation process is almost similar. Make your changes based on your operating system. Let us get started. For Live Theme Generator, we need NPM, which stands for Node Package Manager. The NPM is distributed with Node.js. Therefore, we need to install the Node.js. To install Node.js, download it from the official website of Node.js. In my machine, I have installed Node version 11. You can install any version of Node.js of your choice. After installation of node, run the two commands to confirm the installation. If these two commands are not recognized in your machine, then add the node.js installation directory in the environment variable. In this step, we need to create .npmrc file in your user's home directory. This file is used to configure the npm tool. This file contains a list of key value parameters. This helps us to bypass npm permission related issues. The content of this file should be look like this. Yeoman helps you to kickstart new projects, prescribing best practices and tools to help you stay productive. To install the Yeoman, open the command prompt and execute this command. After installation of Yeoman, take a look of your npm package folder under your user's home directory. We can see that Yeoman is installed in this directory. Now this directory path has to be added in the environment variable so that any tools which are installed in this directory can be invoked globally from anywhere in the system. We have added the npm package directory path in the environment variable. Now we can run the yo command in the console. Gulp is another tool that helps you to automate painful or time consuming tasks in your development workflow. Execute this command to install the gulp.
Olivetra theme uses SAS. SAS is an acronym for Syntactically Awesome Style Sheet. It is a CSS preprocessor which helps to reduce the repetition with CSS and saves time. It is more stable and powerful CSS extension language that describes the style of the document structure. To use SAS on Windows, you must use either SAS from Node or SAS from Ruby. Since Node SAS indirectly requires Visual Studio, developers who are not already using Visual Studio may opt to use Ruby-based SAS and Compass instead of Node SAS. Therefore, before installing SAS and Compass on Windows, I am going to install Ruby. After installing Ruby, we can run gem command to install sas and compass download the ruby installer from here and install it after installation of ruby follow the next step Before installing SAS, let us check the gem version since we have already installed Ruby. We can see the gem version. That means we can run the gem command now. To install SAS and Compass, execute gem command like this. We have installed SAS and Compass, which is the final step. As a summary, let us revalidate all the softwares that we have installed so far. Our Windows environment is ready to use Lifery theme generator. In the coming video, I am going to explain how to create a basic theme using Lifery theme generator.